Welcome to Small Business Saturdays. Welcome to Small Business Saturdays video series with your host and my husband. And my dad, Aaron Montgomery. Join the conversation. Let's talk some business. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. It is uh, a wonderful Saturday here. Hopefully, everybody is doing well. And uh, my name is Aaron Montgomery. You can find me over at AaronMontgomery.info and uh, definitely looking forward to uh, talking some more sublimation today. If you guys uh, missed our conversation yesterday on uh, two regular guys, uh, we are going to go deeper today into some sublimation stuff, uh, but we're going to really get deep into the sublimation summit today. So I've got Cheryl back for another round with me here today. She's putting up with me two days in a row. So excited to have her back. And uh, yeah, we're just going to get to her here pretty much right away. But uh, everybody checking in this morning, I appreciate you, you joining us here this morning. Martha, how are you? How's everything going over there? Looking forward to, uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it out to ISS Fort Worth this year or not, but uh, if I do, I definitely uh, hope we can get the, uh, the Texas Rangers group back together again. I, I love meeting up with you guys. You guys are awesome. So uh, hopefully you're doing well. Um, all right. Well, let's let's talk some sublimation here. And uh, yeah, Terry checking in says, good morning, Aaron. Yesterday's show was great. So uh, yes, it was. And hopefully today will be just as great. I know it will because Cheryl always brings the fire and is, is awesome. Um, like I said, we want to talk today. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and throw this up there so you guys can go kind of follow along with us here. So if you go to sublimationsummit.com, that's what we're going to get into. I mean, we're going to talk a little sublimation. So if you guys have questions about sublimation, anything like that, go ahead and toss them up there and, and Cheryl and I will get to them uh, as much as we can. Uh, but we really want to, I really want to kind of deep dive into this. This is a brand new thing that Cheryl's put together. I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, I get an opportunity to be a part of it. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, but I'm really excited about all the other uh, education that's going on here. As, as, as you guys know, uh, from me that, uh, you know, Terry, two regular guys, myself, uh, pretty much education is what we're all about. So, um, that's what this is about. But before I spill everything, let's just bring in, <laughs> bring in who, who's supposed to be here with me today. And we'll get Cheryl on here. Here she comes and welcome in Cheryl. Thanks for joining me again. Oh, you know what it helps? I, I love that intro. <laughs> love the intro. Love Good. It. Good. I'm glad I, it was I good need answer. I need one. I just don't have it yet. But Martha is going to be at the Sublimation Summit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I uh, have not met her, so I'm I am so excited to meet Martha. That's gonna be she's been in my group for a while and she's always a lot of fun. And 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 she and. just bought a drummel. Wow. <laughs> Cool. Mark, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. like crazy, crazy, crazy. That puppy is beautiful. It it goes hand in hand with sublimation. It really does. And and they will be doing a hands-on training at the summit. How cool wow. is that? That is very cool. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Martha's great. She's got got the toys and she's an awesome person. I've had a chance to meet her several times. Uh, she's uh, uh, awesome. one third of the Texas Rangers is what we've called them. So uh, <laughs> uh, three wonderful That's ladies funny. that I've had an opportunity to, to hang out with and totally cool. So, so um, what's, who's the other two? Oh, great. You're going to put me on the spot, Martha. Okay. You're going to have to help me out here. Uh, All right. Well, Kelly and I can and Karen. Karen and Kelly. I think it's Kelly. Okay. Uh, gosh, darn it. Martha will help me out. I'm sure she will. It's It's been too long. That's the problem. It's been since last year, ISS Fort Worth, since I've had a chance to hang out with them. And Martha and I keep up a little bit more. And, and Karen, I've talked to Karen several times. And I'm pretty sure it's Kelly. So yeah. help me out here, Martha. Get me off the hook here. But uh, <laughs> those are the three Texas Rangers. Yep. So you, you, you did it, Kelly and Kelly, Karen. Kelly and Karen. Yes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> All right. You did it. You well, did let's it. let's get into the Sublimation Summit uh, here first. And, and we talked okay. a little bit about it yesterday on Two Regular Guys. Um, but he, I actually got a question from Eric after the fact in, in private. He says, uh, is the uh, keynote speaker a... Uh, um, a secret and can't tell anybody about it yet. I said, no, I don't think so. We just didn't, we were so excited about everything going on. We didn't get to it. So yeah. maybe start us off there. There's going to be an awesome keynote speaker and I want, I want to learn more about him. Okay. So first off, he's a, he's a super great guy. His name's Sean Copeland. He is the secretary of commerce for the state of Oklahoma. 
Um, but um, I've known Sean for, I want to say probably 20 years. Um, and um, five? what's that? Since you were five years old, you've known him since you were I five. Know. <laughs> <laughs> and well, and, and Sean as well. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he's just a mere child, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and anyway, so, um, he was actually a bank officer when I met him. Um, and he wanted to do business with my company. So, um, anyway, we just became quick, fast friends and have been friends ever since. And so he was the type of person when you meet him, you just know they're going to be successful. Um, I knew Sean would one day own a bank. There was just no doubt in my mind. Well, he owns a bank with like six branches um, along with 31 companies. Um, he's, he's a motivational, I mean, you know, you can't be in his presence for five minutes and not want to just go start a business, go do something, just set the world on fire. You're just like, Oh my God, you know, <laughs> okay, let me take notes. Yeah. So yeah. I am so honored to have him. I, and I, I honestly, I just, um, I messaged him and said, Hey, Sean, you know, would you be interested thinking there's not even a, a, a prayer to have this guy. He, you know, I went to Tulsa. He's he's out of Tulsa, and I went to Tulsa. Um, I want to say maybe six, seven months ago, mm -hmm. and I messaged him about having breakfast, and you know, he said absolutely. So, and I probably shouldn't say this. <laughs> he's going to kill me. But um, anyway, so he he um, the the governor calls him. And he goes, listen, bro. Um, well, he didn't call him bro, but whatever he said, he goes, <laughs> he goes, listen, I, I'm with a friend. Can I call you back? And I'm like, oh my God, he's telling the governor he's going to call him back. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm like, That's well, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah cool. really. Nice, yeah. Nice. Okay. Yeah. So he's going to be speaking in uh keynote speech on Friday, correct? That's right. And he's there for one day. So, you, you know, if there's a day you can only be there one, I would absolutely tell you to go that day because he's phenomenal. He really, I mean, again, you will, you will want to go start your own business. You'll, you know, he, he just puts a fire in you that just makes you know that you can do anything, you know? Cool. And, and again, he, I mean, he has, uh, he's so busy. It's insane. He gets up at, you know, three in the morning to get everything done. He has three children, a beautiful wife. I mean, just, you know, I can't say enough great things about him. So anyway, and now secretary of commerce and, just another little funny thing, but um, I said, um, Sean, so when you're governor, I want to be invited to the ball. I want you to promise me you're going to invite me to the ball. And he said, of course I will. I said, sign here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Very cool. I know, Very right? Cool. Very cool. Yeah. So it's, it's just about, just about when and you know, people literally, you know, his friends are, you know, when they comment on this post, they'll always, oh, yeah, well, when you're governor, when you're gov, I mean, it's just, yeah. it's one of those, you know, so it's nice. going to be, it's, it's great. Nice. It's really cool. wonderful. Cool. Well, and we excited. have a lot more speakers. I mean, we have just, you know, I don't even know how we're, we're going to be able to get everybody to be able to participate in everything, but right. you know, nice. we okay. have stuff for everybody for sure. Very cool. Very cool. Well, let's back up then just a hair. Um, okay. and, and let's talk about, you know, some, obviously, you, and we're going to get back to the speakers here. Cause I do want to go through the others that you have on the site and some other people that, that you've mentioned to me that are, that are coming soon and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but, but what, what outside of the, the speakers and the education are, are going to be happening here at the sublimation summit? What are some of the other reasons to attend? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what else is there? Yeah. Uh, you? 
<laughs> well, no. I, I guess where I'm heading with that is that, you know, obviously there's all this education that's happening, but you're going to have some great vendors too that are going to oh, be there. Oh, absolutely. And, and yeah. then obviously there's always the, the networking opportunities that are going to be taking place throughout too. But but start off with the vendors. Give us a couple of the names. I know you can't list everybody, but, but just give us a few of the names that are there that are supporting this event. Sure. Well, um, first off, I wanted to limit the, the vendors and I wanted to, it was very important to me that they had the same vision that I do, which is to educate. Mm -hmm. um, education to me is everything. And so um, there's Condi, Coastal, Johnson Plastics, and Jotto. And um, Jotto is a great company for those who are not familiar with them. And um, I really am looking forward to the people in my group that will be able to meet them. Um, they're just just a super company. Mm -hmm. Matt with TRW is going to be there. Oki's going to be there. Um, Uninet's going to be there. And again, hands-on classes for people. Um, you know, Aaron, you were the first person to get me involved with the Oki. <laughs> it's and, my fault. Uh, and I, I have never forgiven you for that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know, it um, took forever to get you here. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, um, I, that was a game changer for me in, in a lot of ways. It really was. And, um, you know, one of the things that, that you and I both would, would, know and would say is that it's not about the printer it's about the paper mm -hmm. you got you got to know the paper and you got to have patience so i tell people to master one paper at a time and so i have people on both sides saying to me you know i bought this eye color golly man i wish i would have bought an oki I bought this Oki. I wish I would have bought an eye color. Yeah, yeah. And it's, and I and I always say the same thing. It's not about the Oki and it's not about the eye color. It's about the paper. It's yeah. about what transfer paper you're going to use. And it's so important that people understand that it's it's about that paper mass, you know, having patience to master it. And I personally love it. And I think it's um, I you know, I think that um, it has its place. Um, if I had to, well, since I don't, I'm not going to. Aaron <laughs> is responsible for my OP too. <laughs> yeah. See, see uh, what you do, Aaron. Yeah, I, I know. Tell you. I know. I know. I have to call the guys up at OK and tell them they owe me some more commissions or something. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, no. that was a that was a lot of. Uh, I I don't even know how long ago that had to be six years ago, right? Six uh, seven years ago had to yeah. be. Yeah, yeah, something something like that. Five, six, seven years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah somewhere in that realm. So yeah, I mean, yeah, good stuff for sure. Crazy, so. crazy amount of time. And um, anyway, so I'm excited that Oki's going to be there. I'm excited that um, Uninet's going to be there. Um, uh, let's see. I'm just trying to go around the room. Yeah, um, yeah, totally. And like I said, I I didn't expect you to list off everybody for sure, but uh, you know, yeah. I, I wanted to get a nice uh, grouping well, there. You know, one of the things that I want to mention that um, we're going to do different. First off, I don't want anyone to think that um, we are in any way um, competing with ISS or or MBM because it's totally different. Um, first off, the vendor hall will be closed off during the, the classes. So we make sure, I mean, we'll probably have some classes during that time, but um, for the most part, that we're not going to have classes, so people can go in there and and see the products that that they're bringing. And there's going to be a lot of new products that are going to be brought there. It's definitely um, oh, I love this. I agree, paper is the king. Yep, yep. Barb Barb says, uh, yeah. I agree, paper is the king. Um, <laughs> actually. If you don't mind backing up real quick here, uh, sure. Mayra had asked, uh, can I do full color with with the eye color? Um, and, and the answer is yes. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. So, well, uh, I got to tell you, you know, um, I sh shared yesterday, but, uh -huh. um, I am super impressed with the sublimation toner for the, um, eye color. Um, 
I, I was sent some samples. So now I'm going to probably buy the, the cartridges for the 550 because I am so impressed. Cool. I mean, the thing about, so I just want to throw this out there. The thing about the sublimation toner that is so cool to me is that you literally, I mean, you can print very quickly. You don't have to have it dry and you can print. I mean, if you're doing a uh, production, a hundred of something, yeah. you know, it's, it's like no time at all. So yeah, just wanted to put that up. No, that's some good stuff there for sure. Okay. All right. Well, let, let's, let's get back to the, the classes and, and, and the speakers. Ter Terry Saunders from SEMO uh, Screen Printing Supply said, Cheryl Aaron, you are making me think about expanding my product line. So <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, <laughs> well, Terry, I hope you're in my group. And um, if you're not, come join it. We do get discounts on all of these products. So Cheryl, she she's actually a distributor of screen printing inks and, and supplies. So she she would be a vendor. So I'm not sure she would be eligible for your group, but uh, well, you're right about that. <laughs> so, anyhow, um, but but she's super well, awesome. Well, contact too. contact them and get some of that good stuff. But yeah. anyway. For sure, for sure. Okay, well, let's let's get back to speakers. I've got the website back up here. Um, we talked about Sean already. Uh, I think most people here know these two fine gentlemen right here. Absolutely. Uh, so, so you want to go into? I'm sure this is all still kind of coming together. But what's uh, what's Jimmy and David going to be covering? Yeah, so Jimmy Jimmy is actually going to be doing the Creative Studio. He's going to do a beginner's class. He's going to be doing a uh, an advanced class, and he's going to be doing pricing strategies. Yeah. And um, I took one of his classes that was kind of similar. I've asked all of them not to do any classes that they typically do. Um, but um, some of the strategies that he has is really awesome. So I'm sure that's going to be a really really helpful class. And then, of course, David, you know, David's going to be doing hands on. That's going to be really, I mean, for people who do not do sublimation or are just starting, which there's so many of them that are going to be coming that's already signed up. That's going to be an awesome class for people. And they're literally going to have the ability to print and press their own. So he's going to uh, unbox you know, take it out of the box, a, a SG 400, set it up, show everybody how it's done and then print and press and let people do the same. So that's going to be fun. Cool. It's going to be a great class. Yeah. And definitely. then he's doing another one. And I forgot, I mean, so many classes, so many classes. So I don't re really remember what yeah. one. Hopefully, hopefully <laughs> I have the classes up for people to sign up by July 15th. Okay. But we'll see. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. Probably it depends a little bit on the speakers and then what kind of info they can give you. Well, sure. and, and, you know, I am waiting on people to get me info and descriptions and stuff like that. Sure. So yeah. huh, I don't know who you'd be waiting on for that. Yeah. I have my list in front of me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um, a couple Speaking other speakers of... here, I guess I'll real quickly um, just a couple of the ones that you and I have talked about, Cheryl, uh, one of the ones that uh, I think we're going to present, I'm, I, and I won't list them all, we'll, we'll keep some secrets here, but uh, <laughs> starting yeah. a business 101 uh, is kind of uh, got to come up with a better title. So if anybody has any good suggestions for me, let me know. But uh, basically just the the basics of getting your business up and going, you know, the getting a business license, getting a tax ID number, you know, LLC, um, you know, kind of, kind of the, Hey, let's get this thing from hobby to business and, and make it legitimate because then you're going to protect yourself. Then you're going to be in a better tax situation and stuff like that. I, I'm certainly not an accountant um, or, or an attorney, but uh, have set up enough businesses and have helped enough people set up enough businesses. My father's a, a, a 25 year CPA. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be pinging him for a lot of uh, tips as well. Right, but, uh, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, a good title would be um, taking your business, I mean, your hobby to the 
to a business because I think people do need that hustle yeah. 101. I love it. Yeah, that's a good one. That's that good. Me, yeah. It's so uh, business startup for dummies. Here's another. See, just throw it out there. I, I get some yeah. fantastic suggestions. You Julia, guys awesome. good to see you here. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. um, so that's one. Uh, like I said, um, I want to talk about starting an e commerce. Uh, site and and kind of what goes into that uh, yeah, from that's, that's five big commerce some some different things there so again another uh, another title request everybody <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, so, and then uh, like I said skipping over a few but uh, I also want to talk about sublimation you know more for less you know obviously there's going to be lots of conversations about sublimation and kind of the basics and the SG 400s and, and, and all that stuff. But I want to talk to people about how you get from, yes, I can do this coffee mug right here, but how do I do uh, a blanket or like the backdrop behind me or, you know, some other things like that. So we'll talk about working with wholesalers. We'll talk about some of the, the other equipment involved there and just kind of what you need to know, because it's, it's, the process is all the same, but, how it's created is, is a little bit different. So I probably even talk a little bit about sewing. If, if, if I could yep, do yep. a class, if <laughs> I could, yeah. it would be, um, you know, sublimation. Less is not more. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Less is not more. <laughs> <laughs> and we could take that all different directions. <laughs> you know, like um, just because you can get a mug for 50 cents doesn't mean that it's going to sublimate well. Yeah. Um, you know, um, you know, going to Dollar Tree doesn't make it, you know, because it's blank. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Well, yeah, that, that that's probably uh, worthwhile to cover there. So I'll steal right. some of your information there, Cheryl, since you'll be you'll be, you'll be keeping this thing going. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> we'll, we'll just uh, we'll get like a poster of you or something. And we'll just set it next to me, and I'll say, "Okay, this is Cheryl's part." <laughs> right, right. Or we could we could get George over there. He could yeah. probably do it. Okay. All right. Good. 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 Yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. Uh, okay. All right. Well, let's keep going here before we get before yeah. I get. It off the rails here but uh, you've got a couple other great guys here Vic uh, Vic Patel and uh, Joe Dovey so uh, you have some ideas about what those guys are gonna be talking about uh, okay so Vic is going to be um, I forgot the title of his class he's gonna be good he's with sawgrass for those who don't know yeah um, he's uh, I really think he's gonna have a great class so um, I don't really remember the title of it and or the con <laughs> yeah <laughs> but, so, the, but the cool ahead. part about vic is you know he's with sawgrass but before that he was actually with a pretty and, and it just totally escaped my brain but he was with a pretty large production company too so he brings in a, a tremendous amount of information as far as the, the kind of production you know tips tricks uh, he really understands sublimation uh his degree in chemistry certainly helps that whole thing so yeah yeah, um, yeah. you know you've got a very smart guy yeah. he, jimmy's kind of the face of, of sawgrass but uh boy vic is is definitely somebody that you want to have a, as a friend and, and somebody you can reach out to because he's he's a wealth of information as well John. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So let's see here. And and Joe to talk about Uninet and 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 uh, the Oki or not Oki the uh, Uninet product and and toner transfers and probably sublimation transfers. He, and he's going to be doing hands on, and that's going to be a fabulous class. I, I he um I know that he's going to be of course doing um a lot of the, you know, the, um, two-step paper. I yeah. forgot the name of this class, but you guys are going to love it. That's mm -hmm. a, that's going to be a great class. I would love to take that class. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Some good stuff. And yeah. then you got, uh, it's just a, a other great folks here. Rich Zadonic from Romark, uh, Johnson plastics. Uh, okay. I'm yeah. The, yeah. these are some great, great yeah. people. Perfect. Sure. Perfect. So yeah. just get over to uh, sublimation summit.com uh, slash speakers and you can check that out. You got uh, everybody knows Matt. And then we talked a bit about Aaron Knight yesterday at the two regular guys podcast yeah. too. So uh, yeah. having, having uh, the guy there from uh, uh, 
DK, the, the DKs and the George Geo Knights. Knight. Yeah, Knights. He's, Thank yeah you. he's he's a great he's a great guy. And he's going to be doing a, a couple of classes. Uh, of course, we're going to have Photoshop, you know, for beginners, advanced, um, Corel, um, business. We're going to actually have a lot of business classes. And I think that that's really, you know, you know, how to grow your business. Mm -hmm. um, um, probably one of my favorites that I hope that I get to take, which is a licensing one. Yeah, that's the um, one I wanted to talk about. Can you tell us a little bit more about that one? I know we yeah, brought it up yesterday. Some. Yeah, let me let me look up. I mean, it, it's just it's going to be fabulous. She's she's phenomenal. Okay. And um, let's see. Well, you're, well, you're looking that up. Yeah, you look that up real quick. I wanted to get to a couple of the comments here. Julia says uh, when we were talking about the the quality, uh, she says exactly. I stress on Cher Cheryl's site every day. Quality is so important. So uh, there you go. Um, who said that? Julia, Julia Lance. Love her, Julia. <laughs> thank you. Seriously. You know, I, again, you know, I have these core people that, you know, like Martha and um, that, you know, talk about it because less is not more sometimes. And you know, <laughs> yep. when, when you're not getting quality, you know, it's just, it's tough to see people struggle with that and then we struggle with it because it's posted all over the place um on the wall you know yeah, and then totally. i need help and please and oh my god and <laughs> you know my life is over yeah yep 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 okay so um decoding the mystery of licensing um and just taking the mystery out of it and it says um what you will learn in this seminar is how to find the right license for your target market, how to pair the right art with the right products, how to make the right deal, how to negotiate contracts, how to, um, how to manage royalties, licensing decoded sales increased. That's awesome. And, yeah. and that's such a, such an important topic. I, I know for me personally, you know, you get into the licensing thing and, and uh, you know, not terribly long ago over in the two regular guys, we had the uh, the show with uh, the attorney, the patent attorney, Gordon Firemark. I mean, that stuff's just so, there's so much misinformation out there about that, that, you know, uh, and you get people all the time. It's like, hey, where, where can I get this Cardinals baseball logo? I'm from St. Louis, so that that's what came to mind. And it's like, well, you can probably get it, but you know, you can't use it. <laughs> um, after the St. Louis right. Blues won the, the hockey championship here. Um, I mean, there was blue stuff all over the place and, and half of it was not licensed. There was a big article in one of the local papers about people, you know, losing their businesses because they didn't uh, follow the, the licensing agreement. They didn't, uh, you know, take care of themselves. So, but there's also lots of money to be had in that whole marketplace. I mean, from local high schools to sports teams to all that kind of fun stuff. So um, I yeah. hope I can sit in on that one. <laughs> yeah, there, there are so many um, people that talk about that sell, you know, we'll say like pop sockets, Yeah, people looking for Lily, you know, Pulitzer designs. And, you know, you get all these people looking for what isn't legal. Yeah. And um, it's just about, I believe it's just about when it's going to happen to you if you continue to do it, not if it's going to happen right. um, as far as somebody coming after you. So in my understanding, pop sockets are so aggressive mm -hmm. and they don't care if you're a little guy or if you're a big guy, they're going after you. Yeah. So, and I know that they have in fact gone after people i know yeti has gone after people yeah. and um and big companies and um i don't think that you know one of the vendors I, i'm not gonna say who but um they had over a hundred thousand dollars in what you know not yeti but what looked like yeti and yeah. they can't do anything with them i yeah. mean they had to just squash that whole thing Imagine that. Imagine, you know, you buying an item, you, you put a lot of money into it to find out you can't sell it or um, they'll sue you for it. Correct. You know, yeah. Crazy stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, it's it's not it's not 
if you're going to get caught, it, it's when. I mean, uh, our goal as business people is to be successful. And as yeah. soon as you get successful with that product, guess what? That's not a sound business strategy to uh, to be going at it illegally. So picking up this information uh, is going to be huge, I think, for people to yeah. because you can certainly do it, and and it's it's totally within the realm of of great business strategies to do licensing and things like that. But um, you you've got to, uh, <laughs> you've got to actually kind of do it the right way. So learning, learning the right way is important here. Well, and again, you know, I, you know, not to get on a soapbox or anything, but, you know, people want to go cheap. And so everything seems to be like, okay, so I can do anything. I, you know, I'm not really a business. I'm just a hobby. Yeah. You know, I only have a whatever it is. And, yeah. you know, I'm doing it out of my house and they will go after you. Yep. I mean, you, that's all you have to do is start searching it. And you'll find out about lawsuits on, on Facebook. And do you see what um, Todd says? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I won't even say PS because they bring the fire when their name is mentioned. <laughs> it's true. They, yep. I mean, they are, they are, and, and Yeti is the same way. I yep. mean, Yeti has sued lots of people. So yeah. It's just, it's crazy to even mess with it to me. Just yeah. leave totally. it alone. Totally. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, great stuff. Cheryl, what, uh, what are we missing here? What, what haven't we talked about when it comes to the sublimation summit and what, uh, what do we need to share with people? Well, I think, um, you know, first off, I think that there is nothing like it. You know, this is dedicated to sublimation and heat transfer. And so, you know, when, people and and it's for every single level every level from you know if you haven't started all the way to advanced mm -hmm. and um again for me it's about seeing people grow and in, in their business and seeing them grow you know from since i started with with it as a hobby to see people succeed in this industry that i love so much and <laughs> so okay so I, got, I just got to share this really funny thing. It's so funny. But yesterday I was saying about drinking the Kool-Aid. Yep. <laughs> so, so my husband says, you know that, you know, there was um, uh, Kool-Aid that was, uh, you know, like electric Kool-Aid. <laughs> did you know that did uh -huh. you know? okay so it was acid i guess back back in the day so i did not know that <laughs> I didn't either. and i'm like i'll bet david doesn't know <laughs> he does it all the time yeah. and i say it all the time about drinking the kool-aid so yeah. it's like well okay but yeah. i did drink the sublimation kool-aid for That's sure right. i'm not, not the electric Stuff, just the sublimation Kool-Aid. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Right. Oh my God, it's too funny. I was, we were actually at a restaurant having lunch and, and one of our neighbors was there and I was sharing about drinking the Kool-Aid and, like, uh -oh. and that's how it came up. So oh too funny. <laughs> that is funny. funny. <laughs> anyway, so I would, I would tell everyone, you know, you're not going to want to miss this. If you are in sublimation or want to be, you're not going to want to miss the summit. This is really, I believe it's a game changer in the industry and we will have an annual one, hopefully. Um, and it's exciting. It really is. And you'll get to see Aaron. <laughs> and Aaron will be, he will be teaching both days. Almost everyone will be teaching both days. So if there, you know, if there's, you know, um, so I, I do want to say this about the classes too, because a lot of people have asked if, you know, like if um, there's Photoshop, I'm just going to use that as an example um, yep. for beginners and then advanced and it, it, it conflicts with another class that they want to take, they will have the opportunity to take it the next day. So we're going to stagger the times. And so, you know, anyway, and it's one of the reasons why it's taken me forever to uh, get it done. And <laughs> and I'm learning how to do a website and I'm learning how to do, you know, uh, it's so much fun. So it much is. fun. 
It is fun. I, I've been up since 1.30 this morning, just <laughs> so you all know. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah, no problem. There's, there's time to sleep later on, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When there's fun it. to be had, let's have it. All right, good stuff. Cool. Yeah. All right, well, make Thank sure you folks you guys get over to sublimationsummit.com and check that out and get, get registered. Um, and you said, yeah, you had to kind of... Ex extend it, expand it, because the registration was filling yes. up. So you got yes. got some yes. more more spots available? Yes. So I did get confirmation. Um, I, I didn't get, they didn't give me the number yet. So I can't really announce it. I had asked for 100. Okay. We'll see if um, they're allowing me to do that. Okay. Um, so, but one, um, one thing I want to say, even though I didn't create a coupon code for you. I, I did. I was going to say, I, we, I've got, I've got the one from, from yesterday that we can use if that yeah. works for you. Yes. Okay. Yep. And it's yeah. good until next Friday. Okay. So, um, you know, get on there and register for $50 off, um, for the two days. Okay. Um, cool. one day. And if you guys could only go one day, I would, I would recommend Friday. It's going to be jam packed and we are hoping to have, a gala of sorts and networking and we're going to be auction off people and stuff like that. I mean, it's going to be really crazy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. We're going to, we're going to, I'll let my off. wife know that I'll be uh, auctioned off. Uh, maybe. I don't I know. know. <laughs> I know. It, you just never know. <laughs> you hope one, hope one. All right, look at, um, all right. So there, there it is. It's two R E G G U Y S right. Two red guys. And uh, that that'll get you the fifty, say fifty bucks, on the two days. Okay, so yes, yep. Have that right. Well, okay. yeah. Um. Okay, so Todd is asking. Oh yeah, definitely. I wanted to get to that. Um, let me pop that up there too. Yeah. Uh, when do you think there'll be scheduled lineups so you can get the day planned out? Um, I think you mentioned you're shooting for the fifteenth. Is that right? Yeah. I, I am I am really hoping um, that um, so what'll happen is we because we do have limited classes on some of them mm -hmm. um, so it will be you know kind of first come first serve but again you will be able to have a second day so if you can't take it on Friday you can take it on Saturday and um, Todd I hope I see you at the summit cool cool <laughs> all right. Good stuff. All right, Cheryl. Well, yeah, thank uh, you. Uh, everybody gets a chance to check that out and uh, some good stuff. And I'm really excited about all the education. As you know, I'm just yes. as much in love with the educational process. And, and, uh, and, you know, we've talked about this for a long time. So it's yeah. really, you know, our dream coming true. And though you didn't put up the money, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, well, but, good. You know, it is, it, you are a big part of this and definitely I thank you for it. I really do. You're very welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for, thanks for having me. And I'm looking yes. forward to uh, getting to see you in September. Yay. September Yay. 27th and 28th. Is that correct? Yep. yep. Okay. There we go. Yep. Get that. Awesome. That. Thank okay. you. All right, Cheryl, Yay. you have a great rest of your Saturday. All right. You too. Thank you. All right. Good stuff. So great stuff from, from Cheryl there. Uh, I wanted to uh, pop that up there. So again, Peachtree City, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta, September 27th and 28th. Hopefully get to see you guys all there. Um, and uh, that, that will be a lot of fun. All right, guys. So um, let me get a couple little, what did we miss? What, what questions do you guys have? Uh, Evelyn, wish, wish you could go too. I actually looking forward to meeting you guys. Um, looking forward to uh, getting a chance to, to kind of meet everybody. But what do we miss? What do you guys uh, have questions about? Not necessarily just about the summit or, or otherwise, but uh, sublimation, um, anything like that. I'm happy to to ask some answer some questions and, and uh, get any information out there. Um, yeah. So like I said, I'm pretty excited to to be able to share a couple of, of classes there. And uh, I really do want to kind of dig into some of these topics a little bit deeper. Um, you know, I'm still going to do the business planning session as well. Uh, as you guys know, that's uh, something that uh, is really important to me and uh, going to be presenting that. So 
Um, that's what's happening here. Also, uh, for me personally, I am working on a new project that uh, will will be happening November 11th. So let me tell you guys a little bit about that while you guys come up with any questions that you might have there. So I'm going to share this screen here and that way you can, you can see. So I'm taking uh, people's information if you wanna pre-register to be able to uh, get involved in this. Uh, there we go, okay. E Evelyn and I will come right back to your question here in just a second. Let me just go through this real quick. Um, so if you get over to uh, my website at uh, aaronmontgomery.info slash marketing, uh, that'll take you to this page right here and just enter your your information. If you wanna share your social media with me, that's, that's optional. Um, this is just a, a pre-registration list. So this is gonna be happening November 11th. Details are coming together, but some, some basics here. Um, don't have the exact time yet, still trying to nail down a perfect time for everybody uh, probably in that. And so it's gonna be on a Monday, it's gonna be on, on Veterans Day. Uh, so hopefully people will be available and uh, we can we can talk some things, but uh, hopefully we'll see you all there. So just head over to this page and let me put that across the bottom here and let that scroll for you. So it's aaronmontgomery.info slash marketing. Uh, and yes, Julia, this is going to be an online webinar uh, and uh, it's gonna be two hours. It's what I'm shooting for. And uh, we're gonna talk email marketing and then we're gonna talk social media. And um, it is not going to be something that's available after. It's only going to be available for those that have signed up. Uh, there is going to be a fee in, involved and still working that out. Um, and those of you that, that do pay the fee, even if you can't make it, uh, you will get the recorded session uh, as long as, as as you've signed up for the class. So, um, but I really would prefer that you guys just make time to be there. And uh, then, because then you'll be able to ask questions, it, it'll be hands-on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Todd says that's like 10 years away in internet time. Yes, yes, it, correct, Todd, that, that November 11th, it seems like forever from now, but uh, yes, it's going to come up quick. And the other reason why I'm putting this out there right now is this is me holding myself accountable. Uh, I've been talking about wanting to do this, needing to do this. I even had um, a survey that you guys all filled out for me last year that really helped me get a lot of information about what I should share and, and whatnot. So uh the, the year was getting away from me and uh, got it added. So it's gonna happen, it's gonna make it happen. I'm excited, uh, I, I can't wait to, you know, I'm gonna do this on on Zoom, uh, a service called zoom.us. And that way it can be very interactive. Uh, there can be uh, comments, questions, and uh, I, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. So um, I can't wait to do that. Julia, thank you so much. You are, uh, um, <laughs> Pillar says, uh, plan now, Todd. So uh, there we go. And uh, Julia says, you're a wealth of business knowledge. Everyone should totally make time to go. Well, Julia, thank you so much for the nice comments. All right. So let's let's get rid of this. Let's get enough of my little uh, promotion here. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys uh, signing up for that. If, if you would uh, like to do that and get on that pre-registration list, that'll get you discounts. I'm going to do a couple other little free things beforehand that uh, only the people that sign up on that list uh, get access to. So please register for that. Um, okay, Todd says, holding myself accountable to put me down for the 27th. Ha ha, I'm writing that down, Todd. You are down. We are gonna talk hustle, maximizing our time. And uh, yes, sir. Boom, I love it. <laughs> okay, uh, Evelyn, let me go back to your your question here, and I'm probably going to need to lean on lean on the, the listeners here a little bit uh, because I don't buy a whole lot of shirts. As crazy it is as it is, I'm involved in this industry, but shirts are really not <laughs> my thing. So um, I'm having trouble getting blank shirts for larger folks. Seen anything? So if anybody has any suggestions for Evelyn, uh, please go ahead and and, and share those. Um, I will reach out to my friends over at Sanmar and see if they can give me some suggestions um, and, and I will get back with you. So I will hold myself accountable to you, Evelyn, to, uh, to reach out to you. I'll probably just uh, direct message you on Facebook if that's okay and uh, maybe post on the comments here so other people can, can get the information. But uh, if anybody knows, uh, <laughs> what, what time would be best, Pillar? That means we have to wake up early on the 27th. Uh, what, what's, a, what's a good time for you? Todd, what's a good time for you? Let's, uh, 
let's make it so we get everybody there and, and have a great conversation. So should be fun. All right, guys, you guys are awesome. Let me know what else, but uh, I think that's going to do it for today. Again, just wanted to really share the Sublimation Summit. I think it's very cool. I'm excited to be a part of it. Um, Todd says Sanmar 6X in stock. Perfect. Uh, that guy, boom, high five, Todd. Thank you very much for helping out. And and I will, uh, again, just reach out to some friends that I have over there too and just see if there's any other other info. 6X is, is pretty good. I don't know if you uh, need need more. Cheryl, count me in. Love it. All right, guys. Sublimation Summit coming up in September. Make sure you're signed up for that. And uh, you guys have a great rest of your Saturday. Um, yeah, I, I've, next Saturday, I'm going to be... So some of you know this, I had an opportunity last weekend to be at the Jack Canfield seminar. Um, let me here, let me dig into my bag. <laughs> Should have had this out. Okay, so dug into my bag here and uh, wanted to, because this is, <laughs> I don't know, Jack Canfield, he's like kind of my rock star. So pretty proud of this. <laughs> uh, there we go. So um, next Saturday, I am going to be kind of doing a little recap of what we covered at the One Day to Greatness seminar. And so that is going to be happening on what, what's next Saturday, the 13th, and uh, probably a little bit more in, in depth on some things, some success principle stuff on the 20th. And then uh, you heard it here first. Todd Downing is going to be on the program with me on the 27th. So it's going to be great. And uh, camera's out of focus. Okay. Yeah, with me moving around like that. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your Saturday. And we will talk to you next week.